If you watch my facelift videos, uh, you'll know that I mentioned blepharoplasty, which frequently can go along with a facelift if, pe if people have uh, more of that sort of aging of the face that causes the face to get more like a square shape and sagging in the neck. Um, and even some patients, younger patients, would do the blepharoplasty alone. So what is blepharoplasty? Really, it's an eyelid lift. So the eyes are really the window to the soul, some people say. So it's so important when people look at you in your eyes that they see a vibrant, energetic you that matches your inner spirit and so that's why as we age um, the we tend to lose some volume in the areas around the eyes and that tends to make us look older and less rested and so for the upper eyelids they tend to get some hooding especially in this lateral area you can get some puffiness particularly right in here in this medial uh, part of the eyelid that tends to make it look uh, more aged and, and and not rested. In the lower lids, you tend to get some puffiness. Some people call them bags under the eyes, some darkness in that area. You may get some real, real well definition of this sort of curved area under here where the, where the tissues meet the bone in that area. And so blepharoplasty or eye lift is a way to sort of refresh and make you look much younger and, and more energetic um, and, and match your, your outer appearance with your inner lively spirit. And so um, basically the way it works is um, to get rid of this sort of hooding the upper eyelids. We hide the, hide the sur surgery uh, incisions in the crease of the upper eyelid and just out a little bit this way. And in that way we can kind of take out that hooding area, take out any puffiness uh, in that area. And for the lowers, uh, depending on how much uh, change you have, either the, the surgery can be done entirely from the inside where there's no visible incision uh, and or possibly if there is a, a sort of a lot of sagging in that area, we may hide the incision right along this sort of margin of the eyelashes there in the lower eyelid, which feels very, very nicely, very difficult to see those incisions, particularly once they're healed. Sometimes it's difficult even for doctors to see that that's there. Um, but it's really, uh, really nice surgery. It's a nice sort of uh, refresher. And um, so people really like it. You do need to take some time off usually for that, particularly if you want to be private about it. Uh, many patients will sort of take a full work week off for that one because uh, there are stitches for about a week. And also, um, we, we, we you may get some bruising. Most people don't. But if you did, you know, that might take a week or so to go away that way. Um, so after blepharoplasty or eyelid surgery, um, I recommend not working out for about two weeks and then you can kind of start some light exercise, kind of ease your way back into it. By about six weeks after, you can do just about anything. It is better, I think, to avoid reaching and lifting, especially the first week and uh, bending is better to avoid uh, for that one. Uh, some things I do to make your recovery really quick. Um, you know, the, the way I do the surgery is very gentle. That's going to make you recover faster. Also, during the surgery, I put a bunch of long-acting local anesthetic. It like, makes you don't feel so much when you wake up. And even will give you some medicine you need less pain pills. Um, this particular surgery is not that painful for whatever reason. I give everybody some pain pills, but some people say they hardly take them um, or, or don't need them at all uh, for that one, which is real nice, especially even some of the ointments they have has some local anesthetic and that can make it really, really easy to do that particular surgery.